1971. I was a second year graduate student and Philip Zimbardo and Curtis Banks and I conducted what came to be known as the Stanford Prison Experiment. And I watched um, a group of college students, psychologically healthy college students, uh, who were, were selected because of their psychological health and resiliency, randomly assigned to be guards or prisoners, placed in the basement of the psychology department building for a study that we thought would last for two weeks. And I watched things spin wildly out of control, guards becoming sadistic, student guards becoming sadistic, student prisoners breaking down emotionally, study was so dramatic in its outcome, results, consequences, we ended it in six days. Mm -hmm. We wanted to try to understand whether what happens in prison happens in prison because the kind of because of the kind of people who work there or the kind of and the kind of people who are sent there, or does it happen because of the nature of the environment that's created? So we selected, carefully selected people who volunteered to be in the study, and we gave them a battery of psychological tests. We picked 20, the 20 most normal, healthy, resilient people out of 75 people who volunteered to be in the study. And they were healthy, young college students, pro totally normal. Half of them became guards, half of them became prisoners. And then Zimbardo and Banks and I sat back and watched what happened. The idea being whatever happened was not gonna be because of who we put in this environment. It was gonna be because of the nature of the environment itself. And so we thought maybe nothing will happen. Certainly never that overnight this place would become a, an environment in which otherwise normal, healthy kids who I'd interviewed the week before, they were happy-go-lucky college students on the streets of Palo Alto, were abusing other happy-go-lucky college students in the name of being prison guards. When we decided to end the study, the guards were so deeply into their role that they were upset that we were ending the study. The, uh, obviously, the, the, the meaning of the study, if you will, is what can happen when you put a group of people in control, almost total control, over a group of derogated others. That, the, and that's the essence of imprisonment.